Hey guys, what's up? Zach here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the importance of referrals. So when you're just getting started out and you really want to grow your business, the most important thing you could possibly use for marketing and sales is referrals. So here's what I mean. When, when you do a job for somebody, even if it's a free job or a very inexpensive one, if that person forwards your name to somebody else who is important, they're going to trust you a lot more because they already trust that person right it's very common in any business referrals equal trust right and trust is the name of the game when you're trying to make sales and grow your business so how should you as a business owner pursue and get referrals especially when you're just starting out whenever you're pitching your price you can always start a little bit higher than what you expect someone to pay and then and then say hey listen but if you guys can give me a strong referral I can discount this price, 500 bucks or whatever the number is, um, and you can be more specific over time. What I mean is this, referrals are more important than the amount of money you make at first because referrals grow your business for you, right? So every time you get a referral, most likely that person will refer you to somebody else. And a good strategy is to pay cash for referrals. So what do I mean? If you're charging $3,000 for a virtual tour, you do a great job, say, hey, who can you refer me to? And then over the next few days, you reach out and be clear and say, hey, by the way, I want you to know I'm paying out $200 per referral for every paying client that you guys refer me to. Well, as a, as a business owner or as a, a previous client, if my search provider says, hey, listen, I'm gonna pay you 200 bucks every few weeks, or every time you refer somebody, I'm gonna think of 10 people who I could possibly you know, refer us to and send them your name, all right? Because I'm thinking, well, 200 bucks times 10, cool, I'll make a cool quick two Gs for doing nothing, right? And we know that out of those customers, only a few of them will probably want it. But here, what happens is you create this compounding growth. Like those folks become your referral network and your referral network grows and grows and grows. And what happens is now your incoming leads are much higher volume than your outgoing uh, marketing efforts need to be. This is like magical and like next level stuff. If you think long term up front, this can really help your business and really help any business if you're looking for referrals in a marketplace that's not saturated. You can go capture a lot of leads really quickly if you're willing to pay those who give you the referral. Right? So always keep track of these things and hold true to your word. The last thing you need to do is promise somebody, you know, two to five hundred dollars and then not pay them. Um, but if you can give a referral fee, a finder's fee, to anyone who gives you a referral, this will dramatically increase the volume of people who are calling your phone, emailing you, reaching out to you. And it creates a little mini salesman every time you get a new client or someone who wants to refer you. Now obviously, you have to do a great job and provide a great product and a great service to do this. But when you have a referral network built up down the road, your sales take care of themselves. So here's what, so here's what you need to think about. When you're first getting started, mentioning referrals and, and saying the word partnership I'm thinking long term and we always are looking for referrals and are willing to discount for it means a lot to the psychology of the prospect. When they hear that, they think, well, this guy, I mean, this guy, this team, they care about me and they, and they value my word. So if I'm going to refer them, they best do a good job. Right? And they're probably going to do a good job because they're already looking past my project and other projects. Well, that's kind of cool. But I mean, obviously, in this conversation, you don't want to say, I'm only looking ahead. You want to be focused on their property. But overall, if referrals are in the conversation, then you're going to get a better response from the initial sale. And if you have to, if you really have to, Offer to do one of the tours for free, or offer to do a few rooms for for free, or a few floor plans for, floor floor plans, geez, for free. And in exchange, say, hey, listen, I'm just trying to build rapport with your company and build partnerships for the long term. This is like magical gold coming on the lips of anybody selling a service to a company. The company cares about, the, cares about their company and it makes it seem like you care about them too. And you do in a certain sense. You want to have them have a great product and a great service. But truthfully, 
what you do care about the most is like converting the sale and getting more sales later. Let's just be honest about it. That's, that's the truth. But it, it's a possible win-win and it can be truthful if you say, hey, listen, I do need referrals. I want referrals, but I'm thinking about doing an amazing job for you so the referral can come next. And all those things are win-win scenarios. This is how you create compounding business growth. And if you think this way up front, and you think long term, you won't get discouraged whenever you get told no, because no is going to happen. But for the folks who are on the fence, when you find that person who's not sure, always look to get the referral and then follow up for that referral and offer an incentive if you can. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you implement this referral first process, and I hope it really helps you strive to grow and grow and grow in compounding ways that are magical and amazing and hopefully profitable. Thanks again for watching this video. Subscribe, comment, engage. Let's grow your business together. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.